Hey there, this is Matt Williams, the techno evangelist. And recently I updated my Pi Hole server. So I've got Pi Hole running on a Raspberry Pi on my home network. And every time I do this, I, I can't remember how to do it. And so I do a little searching online to figure out how do I update my Pi Hole. And it's, and every time I get, I don't know, I guess a little bit uh, upset at myself because it is so easy. And I, I think I'm creating this video for future me, so I don't have to feel quite so stupid. Well, maybe I still feel stupid, but I don't have to spend a whole lot of time searching because I can just look at my own video. So here I am on my Pi Hole. I've actually, uh, I'm actually showing my graphical statistics over the last, uh, looks like about a week or so. Um, but on any page that you're on, no matter what page you're on, down here at the bottom, sometimes you have to scroll down to the bottom, you'll see uh, what's the current version of the Pi Hole that you've got. Pi Hole and FTL and web interface. And there it is. And, and if there was an update available, it would show a little tag next to it saying something like update available. Okay, so how do we do the update? You can't, if you just click on these links, they will go to the GitHub release that describes the current or the release that you're on. So how do you go about updating? So the first thing I want to do is switch over to my, my terminal window. And here I want to SSH into the server that is running my Pi Hole. So I'm just going to do SSH. Um, and the name of my server is Falk. Falk is the street that I live on here on Bainbridge Island. And I press enter. And I'm using key pair to manage all of my SSH key pairs. Uh, so I'll use my fingerprint to say that, yes, I am who I say I am. And now I'm logged into my, uh, my Falk uh, Raspberry Pi. And really all I have to do here is just type in Pi Hole and then dash up. And that's it. Press enter. It's going to do a search for, are there any updates to be done? Everything's up to date on mine because I just did this update. Uh, but if there were, was anything for it to do, it would go through all the different uh, um, settings and update all the bits and pieces to the latest version. And that's it. That it's, it really is that easy. So I'm going to exit out of here. And uh, that's it. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, uh, thanks so much for, for watching Future Matt. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.